the scientists are telling us that what used to be the exception is becoming the norm. So the season is starting earlier, going later, and the yeah. ferocity of these fires are quite significant as well. We can almost guarantee you right now we will lose property in Victoria. Um, we hope we don't lose life, but certainly we will lose property somewhere in Victoria. I guess if I was to give you a really stark statistic for you and for people to be aware of our ability, and I've just said I think you, we live in one of the worst bushfire-prone areas of the world and we've got some of the most professional firefighters, volunteer and career staff in the world. Um, on Black Saturday, we had something like 650 t uh, trucks total. That's going to rubbish bin fires, false alarms and indeed fighting the fires. And yet, unfortunately, sadly, 173 people lost their lives, 2,000 homes destroyed. So if you do your math, 600 trucks, um, a thousand, uh, 2,000 homes, we cannot get to everybody's home. So people need to plan um, is if what are they going to do? So when we say have a plan, what are you going to do? Exactly what are you going to do for your family, for your kids, your wife, your husbands, your, your loved ones, your pets, your, your other animals that you have if a fire occurs and the fire truck uh, may not be able to get there. And so they're the, they're the sort of things, whether you put it in on writing or whether you just talk about it as a family, let's start having the conversations. We want people's lives to be saved during the summer. That's what we're good at. We need a community help to achieve that.